look almost the same. Okay, let's try five. Four and five, it says, to redeem them that were under the law. Who was under the law? Galatians 4 and 5. To redeem them that were under the law. See, he didn't, everybody wasn't under the law. All nations wasn't under the law. Anybody that just want to repent, they wasn't under the law. So they don't have no reason to repent. They can't repent. Repentance is only for Israel. And why is repentance only for Israel? Let's get Jeremiah. Because he knew, <clears throat> these, just like Esau, they would cry and moan and want to repent. But he told them, they cannot repent. This is another verse. Telling them that they cannot repent. It says, for lo, I've been, I be being, I began to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. That's the Israelites. And should utterly be, and should you utterly be unpunished? See, that's repenting. They say we can repent and be unpunished. Ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. See, all nations got to get the punishment. Look at who he's talking about. Verse Jeremiah 25 and 26. And all the kings of the north, far and near, one with another, and all the kingdoms of the world, which are upon the face of the earth shall drink, and, and the king of Shishak shall drink after them. So they're not going to repent and be, un, be unpunished. See, they have to be punished for what they did. Only repentance is for the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Here go another verse. He said they're not going to go unpunished. They got to be punished for what they did. Isaiah 34 and 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. Who have armies? See, the Negro in the project don't have no army. A Negro in, uh, in South America don't have no army. A Native American don't have an army. It says, for the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He have utterly destroyed them. He have delivered them to the slaughter. So these are the nations is gonna get slaughtered like the Native Americans got slaughtered. Like the slaves got slaughtered. See, like the uh, Hispanics with the conquistadors got slaughtered. These other nations gotta get slaughtered also. There's no place for repentance for these heathen. Amos 9 brings it out even more, which James said unto all the apostles. He stood up and said, this is what the prophecies say. He said, verse, uh, Amos 9 and 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the heathen. See, they're going to be a possession. They got to go into captivity just like everybody else. The Hispanics went into captivity. The blacks went into captivity. The Native Americans went into captivity. They got to go into captivity. 
Uh, he said he's not a respecter of person. He's not going to say, oh, I'm going to let y'all put everybody in captivity, and then I'm going to let y'all go into a paradise with everybody, with the people that what was in captivity. That makes no sense. He's going to let the captors who captured the world go into paradise with everybody else. Huh? It'll never happen. Jeremiah 30 and 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devoured you shall be devoured, and all your adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all they that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. See, he gonna give these people for a prey because he gave the Israelites for a prey. He gave the descendants of slaves for a prey. He gave the Native Americans for a prey. When Andrew Jackson came and slaughtered 70 million Indians. See, they was given for a prey. Say he's not partial and he don't respect person. He delivered the Native Americans up to the slaughter. What made them think they're not gonna be delivered up to the slaughter? He he delivered the Negro, the, the descendants of slaves to unto the slaughter. What made them think they're not gonna be delivered? They can repent. Oh, I'ma repent. Cause that was my granddaddy. No. The the Israelites couldn't repent and say that was my granddaddy. I didn't do nothing. Why are you throwing me on a slave ship? <laughs> it was no repentance for the Israelites before their punishment came. And there ain't going to be no repent repentance for these other nations, man. I can't tell what the number is on him. And my phone would freeze up. Okay. Let's get another one. Revelation. Because uh, <clears throat> these apologists want to say, oh, the, why the apostles didn't say this? Well, they did. Apostle John in Revelation. He said, verse 9, If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth in the captivity shall go in the captivity. Because he, he put his people in all nations. See? The Hispanics, they went into all nations because they went on slave ship before anybody. Before anybody was thrown on the slave ship, the Hispanics was on the slave ship. See, the, the so-called Negroes, they was on slave ship. The Native, the Native Americans and the Hispanics are pretty much the same people, man. They were native to the land. And whoever they was caught, they would send them over there to Spain. So he said, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. See, the faith of the saints is that these people that put them in the captivity, that was living in glory, these kings, they was going to be put in the captivity. Uh, let's get that in um, Daniel 2 and 44. It says it plain and simple. It says, in the days of these kings, what kings? China, they have a king. Uh, the Arabs have a king. The uh, East Indians have a king. The so-called white man, we know they the ultimate king. But all these other nations have kings. The blacks don't have a king. The Hispanics don't have a king. The Native Americans don't have a king. They don't have a seat on the UN. They are slaves. This is a fact, a certified fact. It says, in the days of these kings shall God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. Who is these other people? It's not going to be left to the people that was kings, that the people that had kings. It's not going to be left to them. It's going to be left 
to the Israelites, the ones who had no king, the ones who was in captivity. See, let's get Daniel 12. Who is the repentance going to be for? Daniel 12 and 1, it says, At that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of your people. See, Daniel was from the tribe of Judah. Daniel was in captivity. See, he wasn't talking about the children of all people. A great prince going to crack the sky and come for all people. No, all people have kings and armies. The Negroes don't have no army. The Negroes don't have a king. They don't have the Hispanics don't have an army. The Hispanics don't have a king. So the prince is not coming for these other nations. It says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of your people. It says, and at that time, your people shall be delivered. See, that's not all people. Daniel only had one people. Daniel came from Israel. Daniel was from the tribe of Judah. His people was going to be delivered. His people was going to be uh, given a chance for repentance. Not all people. Let's get second Ezra. Second Ezra 6 and 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. See, Jacob is going to get that next world. Jacob is going to get the rulership, that kingdom that God is setting up. He's setting up the kingdom for Jacob. Not Esau, not the, the rulers of this world, the so-called white men and their armies. See, you rule with an army. You don't rule just because you got money, just because you run in your mouth. See, because if the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans had an army, we would be ruling. Ain't nobody going to tell us what to do when we got an army, but we don't have no army. We have to obey them. It says... Let's go to um, 6.54. It's 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou have made Lord of all your creatures, of him come we all, and of the people also whom thou have chosen. All this have I spoken before you, O Lord, because thou made it the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam, you have said they are nothing but like unto spit, and have likened them to the abundance of a drop that falleth from a vessel. So these other nations, they don't have no chance for repentance. They have kings and they lie in glory. They can go do all kind of things. Nobody looking at them crazy. The one that's a strange and looked at as crazy is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't have a military. They don't have a king. Their king is Jehoshaphat, who died for them to have that kingdom. They can repent. Let me end it on that if I got more, um, a little bit more time. Matthew 1 and 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sin. See, he coming to save his people. He not coming to save all these people, man. That's a lie from the devil. Matthew 2 and 6. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah are not the least among the princes of Judah.
for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Let me get Luke. Luke 1 and 68. <clears throat> it says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. That redeemed means he gave them repentance. They were able to repent. Verse 71. That we shall be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. See, verse 74, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. See, that's what deliverance and salvation is about. Getting away from your enemies. The enemies is the slave master who's been our slave master for 400, 500 plus years. That's what the Bible is about. The Bible is not about loving everybody. See, that's a lie. It's about somebody in jail. If somebody go to jail, they're going to have to get a lawyer. See, that's who Yahweh Shah, who they ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He was the lawyer for the people that was in jail. The people that was in jail was the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He came to get them out of jail. When he cracked the sky, he gonna be getting them out of jail. See, when they throw you on a boat with chain, that's you going to jail, man. That's in layman term. If you can't understand the scripture, going to jail is you getting chained up from your head and your feet and thrown into the, the jail house, the prison house. Oh, I'm gonna end on that. Isaiah 42 and 22. It says, but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. See, they was in the holes of them ships. They was in the holes of them slave ships. And they are hid in prison houses. See, there's more Negroes in prison than all the world, man. You can put all the prison together and the prisons in America, all the Negroes in now. You see, it says, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth. For a spoil, and none say restore. See, ain't nobody saying, let them Negroes out the jailhouse. Ain't nobody saying that. They saying, let them rot in the prison. Throw away the key. <laughs> See, that's what these Negroes saying. Hell, some of their own family members saying, throw away the key. Let that Negro stay in jail. See, ain't nobody trying to restore these people. Get them uh, psychologists and therapy and help them uh, get off of whatever they're addicted to. They're not worried about these Negroes, man. It says, verse 23, Who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Who have who gave Jacob for a spoil and Israel to the robbers? See, the robbers is the so-called uh, warden over the prison, the prison guards. The so-called white man is the warden. He run the prison system. Then you got Michael Jordan. He giving, buying shares in the prison system. Helping the white man enslave the nation of Israel because they sold their life. They, sold, they gave their life over to death because the so-called white man is death, see? Because when you join him, you just joining yourself into death because this is his kingdom, this is his promise, this is his blessing. And that's what he did. He sold his blessing, see? Ended on Daniel 7 and 18. Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, 
even forever and ever. See, once we get the kingdom, ain't going to be no letting Satan out after a thousand years. Ain't going to be no letting the so-called white man out of slavery after a thousand years. Ain't going to be no fallen angel coming and tempting everybody. No, that's a lie. The saints is going to rule forever, man. They're going to be having power with God and man, just like their father Jacob, when he wrestled with the angel. The angel gave him a blessing to have power with God and man. That means they're going to give, be given spiritual bodies to rule the earth. But I'm going to leave it there. All praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kakadash. A double honor to the elders, pushing the truth, peace of the elect world, worldwide. Um, the, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, uh, descendants of slaves scattered around the globe on slave ships and through many captivity. Quam Yashorala!